Today I want to show you guys a new boat that just came out to the market uh, by Scarab. Um, it's also a jet boat. Um, has three cylinders, 250 horses, and very similar to the boat I have right now. Uh, it weighs a little bit heavier, uh, but I believe it's probably because of the tower, and also it's probably had more fiberglass into the boat. Uh, that's why it's a little heavier. The tower, this is why the tower is very sturdy because it can pull about 1,500 pounds. It's a thick aluminum. And it has an opening platform that I've never seen on a small boat like this, an opening platform in the back. That extends your boat to probably two feet, make it bigger two feet. Very good looking boat. Um, when I bought my 190 FSH, there was no options out there. Now there's two options. Uh, you got the Yamaha and also you got the Scarab. I have not seen it in person yet. I would love to get a hold of one. Um, you try to contact uh, Scarab and they have no contact, uh, like marketing department, uh, anything like that. You just got to put your location. It shows you a dealer, but there's no way for me to contact the marketing department. I would love them to uh, loan me a boat like this so I can try it and compare it to my Yamaha. And there's no dealers around me that has it yet. So um, I would love to see one in person, see what it looks like. It has more room here to put more electronics. Um, you can put probably two screens instead of one. And the sitting area, it's very big because you have uh, the front deck, it opens up and you can seat a lot of people there. Now this is something that is very unique. See, this is what I'm talking about. It opens up so you can sit a lot of people all the way around. And there's a bracket here for a table. And it can also convert to a pad area here. There's a table. And this is the porta potty area. Um, it's very similar to the 190 FSH. It's very important to have a porta potty, especially when you have people on board. Um, that's why I like the 190 FSH because it has that. But now this boat also has it. That's a great choice for another boat. Um, you see, it has two two cup holders here, two in the front, two in the back. And look at the massive uh, tower, aluminum tower. How thick it is. It looks very sporty too, the uh, control center. The leaning post looks really good too. Folding chairs are the same thing as um, the Yamaha 190. As you can see, this very, very similar boat to the 190 FSH is just more sportier. Um, the quality, I haven't seen one, like I said, so we'll love to see one to see what's the quality of this boat and how it performs. The engine, the engine is 155 horses. This is the same engine that I used to have in a Sea-Doo and I had it for eight years. It ran for eight years strong, no problems in the engine at all. All I did was oil change and change spark plugs. Um, it gave me great use for eight years. So I definitely recommend this engine. Now, I don't, I don't know about the uh, supercharge because I didn't have a supercharge. So that's something new. Um, that's 250 horses instead of 155 that I had. Um, so that's something that I don't know how it performs with that. We'll love to test drive one. And the deck, two feet extension to the boat. Something here that is really good about the Rotax, the reverse bucket. This reverse bucket here is much better than the Yamaha because the bucket shoots the water sideways. So you get better control when you turn the steering wheel, this bucket gives you a better pitch because it'll shoot water from both sides like that. Well, the Yamaha has a pitch down only. So this one, you get much better control when you're in reverse. When I had my Sidu, it was the best reverse bucket that I have ever used on a, on a jet boat. So definitely that is a plus. And also has a deck on the back. Even with this closed, you still have a stepping deck on the back.
And also the tower folds down and the windshield is removable. Very good boat. What I'm seeing so far looks very promising. So I just gotta get my hands on one of them. And as far as the price, this boat is a little cheaper. We're talking about about a thousand some dollars cheaper than the uh, 190 FSH. This one is 32,499. Okay, the 195 open is 31,250. So we're looking at about a thousand some dollars difference. Uh, so this one has a better value and you still get your tower uh, also like the 190 FSH. But this tower, like I said, is very strong, 1,500 pounds rated. You got more choices on the Scarab as far as colors. There's more choices. Here's the colors. The weight of the uh, Scarab is 2,730 pounds. And the weight of the Yamaha is 2,293 pounds. So definitely the Scarab is heavier and I believe it's because of the tower and it might have more fiberglass on the hull. So that's something to look at. The beam is the same, eight feet beam. The draft is really important about and the Yamaha, the draft of the Yamaha, it is 14 inches draft. And the scarab is only 12 inches. So we're looking at about two inches difference. That is huge on a jet boat. Uh, when you take it on shallow water, a foot of water, that's the only thing you need to maneuver this boat. Uh, not in a fast speed, of course, but to touch the bottom of the boat. So 14 versus 12, I will definitely, uh, will like the 12, because you can go in shallower waters. Fuel capacity on the Yamaha is 30, and the Scarab is 31. Uh, one gallon, it's not a big deal, but it's still one gallon extra that when you take a long trip, especially if you go to the Bahamas in it. Max capacity horsepower is 250. Uh, the Yamaha has 180. Of course, the Scarab is a three cylinder turbocharged. That's why you get 250 horses. I never had the turbocharged, so I, don't, I can't tell you nothing about that. Uh, the maximum capacity is 1,400. The FSH has 1,452, so 50 more pounds of capacity um, it has. So in person capacity is eight. Um, and like I said, the beam is eight. So it's very similar boats. The front of the boat has the same look as the Yamaha. It's square in the front so you can get more, you can get more space for uh, your passengers. I would love to get my hands on one of these boats to test, test it for a day or two and see how it performs. But I've been trying to get uh, a hold of Scarab. There's no contact information for them. Um, it only sends you to a dealer, but I would love to get a hold of the marketing department to see if they will loan me a boat for a day or two so I can show it to my viewers and compare it to the Yamaha. And now there's another option out there. I'm glad that people have two choices instead of one. Uh, Yamaha is a great product. Uh, Scarab, we don't know nothing about it. Uh, it's a new, this is a new boat out there in the market, so I would love to see how it performs. I never thought another company would come up with something like this, because jet boats are not, fishing boats, jet boats are not very popular, but now they're becoming very popular. It's always good competition. There was 190 FSH only. Now the Open 195 uh, Scarab is another choice out there. So this is where the companies now are gonna give you uh, better incentives, maybe extra warranty because there's competition. Competition is good, so I'm glad now we have two boats out there, and right now I got two choices. So, so far right now I love my 190 FSH, but I would love to test drive this, if it's a better boat that I can use to go to the Bahamas and spend a couple of nights on it. I would love to try that to see how it works. Um, hopefully Scarab would, uh, get in touch with me so I can see a way of getting a hold of one and testing it. I would appreciate that. So a lot of my viewers, I'm sure they have not seen this boat. So 
So hopefully I get in touch with Scarab soon so I can uh, try this boat, guys. Thanks for watching, guys.